Now what is next? We need to calculate the number of fastener reverts. We have decided three reverts, three rows. This is flange. And the doubler is here. We remove the doubler. We start the doubler. Okay. So we have fastener. This fastener. You have this is filler, you cut out the area. Okay, this is a filler, you cut out the area, this is a double. So you also have fastener here. On the other. We have also reverts here. Reverts. Reverts. Okay, reverts. 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 Okay. So we have reverts. So now, are these reverts enough? So we have three rows. Okay. One row of two revert. Second row. Third row. If you look at the cross section for the repair, there is a double plate. You have reverts, you have reverts. One row reverts, two reverts. One row with two reverts. So, all these are rows. Okay, now we need to check. What you need to check first? You need to check the strength of the reverts. Okay. You need to check the strength of the reverts. How to check? You have to go to the table. You have to find the single failure the reverts. You have to go to the table as 57, 10, 13, I think. Okay. Let me look at reverts. Okay. Let's see the table. It's not mentioned. Okay, it's a table 50, 51. So it's 51, 70, 13. Okay. Okay, there are a lot of table here on reverts. Uh, we can choose AD1 of it. Uh, we want to make sure 1.6. It's not, it's a, it's a 2.17. What was the revert again? Uh, Sh 
Sehingga share two to the zero. Let's go to the table. So this table of derivatives. You can see table four. Sorry, sir. We can't see table four. Thank you. Okay. So this is 51, 70, 13. 51, 70, 13. You have table 3. Okay, table 1 is the type of reverts. The type, revert, aluminum alloy, revert, model, point, traded, fastener. Basically, this is most of the high lock. HL is high lock. The heat in the universal countersum material is aluminium 2117. The type, the number reward. So, this number reward you call up. Okay, this number reward is being numbered by the Airbus. This is Airbus. So, this is number, part number given by the Airbus to the reward. This is the material reward. And this is the heat type. Okay, table 1. Table 2 will give you the strength. Sorry, table 2 still the uh, type. Sorry. Table 3 will give you the strength. Single shear allowable. Uh, this is a pivot solid. This is the single shear value in Newton. And here is the meter. So we have 4 mm diameter reverts. And we also have this material thickness. The material thickness we use the thinness. In this case, it's 1.4. 1.4 is the thinness. So we're not using a universal head using countersum. Universal, universal, universal head, table 3. Table 4 is uh, solid. And then table. Uh, table 5, okay, solid, universal heat, and we have table, uh, table 6, okay, single shear, solid reverts, universal heat, exclusion, we also have table 7, down to sum. Okay. So now on the, we are using down to sum, and the, and you have 4 mm reverts, and the thickness is 2 point, is 1.6. Okay, I'll just take the thing. Okay. Okay, now. So the reverse, now next is to calculate the reverse. Let's also put this one down. Okay. So the revert, you have to choose the revert first because you want to know the strength. So here is this material. This is the revert material. This is the strength. This is thickness. So we are using 1.6. Use the thickness. Then the value for the M4 mm reverts is 2330. So each revert will take 2230. One single shear revert, ultimate shear shear for one revert is two two three zero. Okay, the total load for one row revert is two three three zero. So one revert. So we only consider this. Okay. Let's me go back again here. So what we do here is we have. L angle, remember, and we have the repair, and we have reverts. 
So our area of interest is here. So we consider one revert. Sorry. One revert, two to three zero. Huh? You cannot hear me? Ah, uh, tak nampak sih. Tak nampak. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I have to keep. Okay. Nampak? Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, so now I have explained to you. Let me repeat. So for the meeting, for the, okay. First thing you need to do now is we need to know how many reverts can take up the load. Okay. The loss is six, zero, what is it? Six, zero, seven, two. So we have six, zero, seven, two. Okay. You tell that you need to take care. How many reverts? How to determine the reverts? First, you need to determine the strength of each revert. You go to the table, the table will show you the revert type, the diameter, and the material. So this is revert type, is 4 mm. We choose uh, 21780 reverts and the Original thickness of the material is meters one point six, so the revert strength is two three two zero. So one revert will take up two three three zero. Okay. Here it is two three three. <laughs> And so you end up with the number 2.61. 2.61 row. This is row. Huh? So rows. Okay. So you need three. So mean that you need three. One, two, three. So it's good. We already consider three. We don't count this. This is a row. This is a row. This is a row. So we got three rows. So this is section of the rows. We got three rows. So we got three rows. But in this situation here, since we have also another river along the row, so you may say three row of two rivers. Main is a lot stronger. However, our interest more on the lower flange. So that's why we only consider this flange here. Because sometimes the rivets on the vertical flange may be not in line. They may stagger. So still importantly, we have to consider the one on horizontal flange because that's the one you remove. That's the one you repair. So that's how to calculate the number of rivets, the number of row of rivets. Question? Yes. 